Welcome YouTube to the final episode of the Pokemon X Mono Fire Egglock. This is CJS064 here, welcoming you to the final episode. If you guys are excited for this series, go ahead and leave a like down below because as always, your support is appreciated. And I've got to tell you guys, I'm really nervous. Really, really, really nervous. And if you look on your screen, you can see why. Because we've got the Elite Four member Seabold coming up right now. Last two episodes, I've been prepping myself up for this. And this is it. This is the final bout. This is it. Let's go ahead and do a quick team review of our team. We managed to get through the three other members pretty easily, thanks to the Subius the Camerupt. Let's go ahead and get a team review. My love, the Magmortar, with Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Clear Smog. My love has to come really hard through this because he's got a Gyarados, a Stami, a Clawitza, and a uh, freaking Barbarical. That Thunderbolt is going to be key against that bloody freaking Gyarados. We need to have my love out against that Gyarados. It's going to be intense. We have Enchilada, the Typhlosion, with Flamethrower, Lava Plume, Extra Sensory, and Quick Attack. We've got Vesuvius, the Camerupt, with Lava Plume, Earth Power, Rock Slide, and Yawn. Blaze Runner, the Arcanine, with Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Bite, and Extreme Speed. Pony, the Volcarona, with Flamethrower, Bug, Bug Buzz, Flame Charge, Quiver Dance. And Torkoal, Roshi the Torkoal, with Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, Iron Defense, and Will-O-Wisp. So this battle is going to get really intense, and the question of the day, I think we'll leave to the end of the episode to answer so we can determine who deserves the role of most valued Pokemon of this LP. So let's go ahead and get this battle started. Fingers crossed. Man, this is going to be intense. No, no, no. No, I cannot simply say. You there, young man, I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can be even can ever be worthy of being called an art? Of course. Indeed. You see, cooking is a type of art that disappears as soon as it's completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victory soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life made up of fleeting experiences, that is truly artful. Alright, here we go. The big final battle with Seabold, the water type Elite Four member. Man, I am worried. Vesuvius really can't have much of a place in this LP, in this battle, because it's quite effective. Water types. Out comes the Clawitza. We need to kill this Clawitza straight away. So out comes my love, the Magmortar. Buddy, we need you to come through with this one. <sighs> Alright, so here we go. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Let's see what it does in this Clawitza. Please, can you get the kill? It does not. Okay, that is unfortunate. And that Water Pulse does way too much. Way too much. So we're going to go ahead and heal up. Oh man, this is going to be so bad. The only hope I can have for here is if we can go for a Thunderbolt and either get the Paralysis for the Tenant Paralysis or the King's Rock and get a Flinch. They're the only ways we can get around this Clawitza. Man, this is going to be so bad. That's our first heal for the battle. Let's go for another Thunderbolt. Here we go. Thunderbolt, go. Bring it down. Water Pulse. Fire out. This is so bad. Ah. <sighs> And we get confused as well, so that's that's cool. Second heal for the battle is coming up right now. Snap out confusion, full restore, and more likely his train's gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So we've both used our heals on our first Pokemon. This is just gonna be how intense the battle is. So, oh man, this is gonna be so bad. So we're gonna go ahead and go for another Thunderbolt. Can we get King's Rock or Paralysis in, please? That would be nice. No, god damn it. So we're going to go ahead and go for a Thunderbolt. Down goes Kluitza. Man, this is so bad. Unfortunately, that is how we've had to do things. Alright, Garrus is here. Alright. Now that's actually good. I actually wanted my love out just for the Garrus. Let's go for a Thunderbolt. We outspeed. It's quite effective. Can we kill this Garrus? Yes! Alright. That is the major threat I was worried about because with uh, with uh, Dragon Dance and everything else, that Garrus is going to be a huge problem. But now we come to another problem, and that's going to be this Barbarical. So, now we're going to go ahead and swap out for our Roshi. Oh, man. I really hate to do that. I really don't want to do that. But we have to. Let's go ahead and swap out for uh, 
Roshi. Man, I wish we healed up Roshi before the battle, but... <sighs> if he goes for Shell Smash, we're screwed. Stone Age. Alright. That isn't too bad, because Roshi, I'm sure, can live it, which it does. Fantastic. Alright, now, the only problem is... We need to get a Flame Body up, but Stone Age would not do that. So, let's go ahead and go for Willow. Hopefully he goes for a... Uh, okay, he goes for... Can we leave? No, we don't. Fuck! That was a crit. I don't think the crit mattered, but... Roshi is the first to bite the dust, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and bring out Blaze Runner. Because what I'm going to do is going to get Blaze Runner to go ahead and go for uh, close combat. With the Black Belt, we should be able to do this. Alright, so Barbarical is down, which is fantastic. The only problem now is its defenses are lowered, which is the only problem I have with this. So, we managed to get through it, which is good. Now, I probably feel like we should have uh, swapped in Blaze Runner over Roshi, but... Uh, we really can't do much about it. Let's go for a bite. Our speed, let's go for surf. Oh no, Blaze Runner, come on, come on, come on. Fah! All our heals are gone, there is not much we can do here. Now, I, I really... Oh. We're going to bring out Pony the Volcarona. I'm going to go, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for a Quiver Dance. Oh, that is so bad. But we got one round of Quiver Dance up, so I think that was the right move to do that. Now, unfortunately, because of that light screen, we are not going to be able to two-hit kill this. But we did get one level up of uh, special defense, so... Man, oh man! Alright, so this Bug Buzz should kill the Starmie. Alright, so... Unfortunately, we did have a loss in that battle, two losses in that battle, which was unfortunate, but we had to do that to get through this. So, unfortunately, we lost Blaze Runner and Roshi. Uh, we probably could have kept Roshi, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Like, there's not much I could have done to rectify the situation. Starmie would have outsped. Now, I don't know if um, the Archon would have been able to live a Stone Age by a Barbarical, but we had to make, we had to take that risk, unfortunately. So, now we come up to a point. So we're going to go ahead and heal up. Alright. So, first Pokemon's going to come out is, of course, that Halucha. Now. What would be the best way to do this? We'll put Enchilada out front because Enchilada has the extra sensory, which can take on that... Halucha. So that's actually pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Enter the Radiant Chamber. And we're going up against Dithia, the champion. Oh my gosh, this is so... I'm so happy that we got here. Unfortunately, we had some losses, but it was inevitable that we were going to have losses. And unfortunately, it had to be Blaze Runner, and it had to be Roshi. But I do appreciate this Pokemon. Thank you very much to those who did send it in. That was Noel and uh, Nathan. Thank you very much for those. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you must know, I am the champion, Diantha. What? Who knew? Oh, but you are... You're the child of Spoko in Lemoy City and Coromine City, aren't you? Then that means that you are also the one that the Augustine said. Of course, how could I... Oh, I must look like such a fool not to recognize you sooner. You and your Pokemon are the ones who stopped Team Flare, after all. It seems wrong of me to say this, but thank you. You saved us all. I can't wait to see what you and your Pokemon are capable of now that... I know exactly what it is you've done already. So here we go. We're down four against six. We're against Champion League, cha Pokemon League champion Diantha. Full team of six Pokemon. Let us do this. We'll start off with the Halucha. Oh man, this is so intense. So we've got here Halucha. We've got Enchilada. Enchilada the packing the uh, extra sensory. Level 64. Man, oh man. So let's go for the X-Sensory, Swords Dance. Alright, so that is going to be the problem right there, is the fact that he has that bloody freaking thing there. But we go for an X-Sensory, how much damage it does to this Halucha. Alright, so it puts it at rest, so that's fantastic, because she's going to use a full restore. Now, we can actually time this out perfectly, because what we can do is we can force her to go ahead and use her two heals. We got the crit, doesn't even matter, excuse me. What the hell is that? Tyrantrum. Okay, now we've got a bit of a problem. So, 
Actually, Vesuvius actually might be a good matchup for here, but the only problem is trying to get him safely on the switching. So, I'm just trying to think how we're going to approach this, because a head smash is going to do a lot of damage. Um, um, let's go ahead and swap out for Vesuvius, because Vesuvius is level 66, that Tyrantium is level 65. Now, I'm not sure if uh, this Tyrantium has Earthquake as well, but let's swap it in for the head smash, as we see here. That will be... Gets the critical hit! Oh my god, man! Oh my god, man! What the fuck? Crits do matter. Crits do matter. Crits matter. Crits matter. So our one answer for this is now out the window. So... I don't know what we're going to do. Let's bring in my love. <sighs> Critical hit, head smash. What the hell, man? What the hell? Let's go for a fire blast with my love. And see if it... It's going to be quite resistant, but if we can get the burn, that would be fantastic. Nope. Oh, we get the epic dodge. Fantastic. Let's go for another fire blast. This should kill. Alright, so that Tyrantium is down, so through some luck, we managed to get through. I'm not going to lie, we got lucky there, we did get very lucky. Out comes Gudra. Alright, now we've got another problem. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swap out for the Volcarona. Because I think this is going to be a special Gudra. Muddy Water. Ah, and that's why. Now, our accuracy is going to drop. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's go for a quiver dance. We're going to try to quiver dance up so we can try and sweep this team here. Oh man, this is going to be so bad. Now we're going to have to go ahead. Actually, we'll go for another quiver dance because we should be able to live another muddy water. And if we can try to heal up, we'll try to not use it so quickly. That critical hit, that was so unfair on Vesuvius. Let's go ahead and use our first heal for this battle. On Pony. Oh, man. This is intense, but I'm not worried about this battle as much as I was about the battle with, um, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, um, with Seabold. Because Seabold was going to be a bit of a problem that I already knew. Now, as far as Cynthia's Pokemon goes, I know all she has left is a, um, a Gardevoir, a Gudra, a, a, a not have a lot. Uh, Aurorus and the um, the 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 the, the uh, Pumpkin Boots Final Four. A uh, Gorgeist. So we should be able to handle this re the rest of the team with no problems. So we'll go ahead and go for one more Quiver Dance, and that should put us at maximum. And then we'll heal up, and we'll start the onslaught on the champion. The only problem is going to be, of course, if uh, we miss with, um, so this is our second heal for the battle, it's going to be used on Pony, the uh, Pony Volcarona, back to full health. Funny how this money water is hit every single time, like what the hell. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for a, bit, a Bug Buzz, this Bug Buzz should one kick kill this Gudra. We are max special attack, goodbye Gudra, Gudra is down and out. Alright, so next out is Aurus. Now we're going to go ahead and go for a flamethrower because flamethrower is neutral on this Aurus. And down goes Aurus. Next is Gorgeist. Flamethrower. Miss. And this is exactly what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. Lucky it wasn't Aurus because Aurus would have gone for something else. But we're going to get Phantom Force. That does a lot. But we don't flame for a go. Alright. I was going to say, Jesus, we're going to lose this because we had Muddy Watered once by a freaking Gudra. Man. Man, oh man. Alright, so now out comes Gardevoir. Level 68. So, tracing our Flame Body. So, not really an issue. We'll go for this Flamethrower and we should get the kill on this Gardevoir. She's going to Mega Evolve her Gardevoir into a Mega Gardevoir. 
But we have this battle in the bag. Down goes the God of War. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, MVP, I'm going to say, is going to go to, God, uh, to Volcarona. Because uh, Volcarona goes through that last battle. And actually, you know what? I'm going to give it two, two, I'm going to give away two MVP awards. So the MVP of this match is going to go to Pony. And the MVP of the last match and everything else goes to my love. So, oh, I'm so surprised you beat me. Whoa. Now I understand why Augustine, Professor Sycamore, said he needed to get Lumoy City ready for the new champion. But before I take you there, my dear CGS 064, would you mind coming this way with me? My chest is pumping right now. Like, I, I've i never been this nervous coming up to a final battle, not even in Fire Red or Pokemon White in the Chili Lock. Man, oh 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 man. Saved up, fantastic. Here we are. I'm so glad to welcome you in. The Grand Chamber is where we enter the Catalyst Regents Hall of Fame. This is where Pokemon trainers will live on forever. Remembered always for giving their all in battle to their Pokemon League and for the glory and light they share with us all. Come CGS 064, your love for your Pokemon and the way those Pokemon gave everything they had in battle for you will recall them all right here for eternity. You can tell I'm very happy right now. Welcome to the Hall of Fame! Enchilada, the Enchilada, my love. Vesuvius, even though you died. Pony, the Volcarona. Blaze Runner, even though you died. And Torko Roshi and Torkoal, even though you died. But guys, ladies and gentlemen, we are the league champion of Kalos, and we've done it. The Fire Modifier Egglock is complete, and that is the third LP under our belt. A few days later, crowds of people gathered in Lemoy City to celebrate the five defenders of the Kalos region and to cheer for its new champion, CGS 064. Excuse me, five defenders? Um, I did all the work here. But, I'm a team player, I'll let them have their moment in the sun as well. What an amazing turnout! All these people are here to celebrate your achievements. I'd like to present you with the Order of Kettles badge for your bravery. I am so proud of you all. On behalf of the entire Kettles region, I'd like to say... Thank you! So we're all presented with an honorary badge to say thank you for your help to the Cows region. Hey, but what do we have here? We have AZ. Battle with me. Huh? You want to battle me? The champion? I want to know what to... Trainer is. So here we go, we got one more battle. Pokemon Trainer AZ is here. Sends out Torkoal. Torkoal! Enchilada. Alright, so at least we didn't start with another Pokemon that has already died. But level 60, Torkoal, let's go for an extra sensory. That's going to not be a Stone Age. Oh! Fuck! Another extra sensory. Got stone energy, bastard. Flinched it. Awesome. Wait, extra sensory can flinch? Okay, so we killed the Torkoal. Fantastic. Alright, oh, CGS season 4, you can do it! Well, I will. Sigilith. Go for a flamethrower. 
that's going to be just a 2 KO, but with that cosmic power, um, it's not. So we're going to go for another uh, flamethrower. This is it. Go for a psychic. The psychic should not kill. Gets a special defense drop, but death drop. We we'll go for another flamethrower. And Sigilyph is down and out. Alright, so one more Pokemon Gorok. Ooh, this could be a bit of a problem. So let's go ahead and go for another flamethrower on this Gorok. Phantom Force. Let's go ahead and swap out for my love to see if my love can go ahead and get a uh, a flinch on, uh, flame body off on this uh, on this one here. So my love comes out. Just this here, and we get the flame body off, which is awesome, which is exactly what I was looking for. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this flamethrower off, and then we can finally oh, fire blast. You know what? Let's let's not. I want to fire lock ends with a fire blast because why the f not? Why the fire not? Why the fire not? So we defeated uh, that Pokemon. Fantastic. That was the final battle. There you go, buddy. AZ, how do you feel? <laughs> Thank you very much for battling with me. Now I finally feel free. Free from the part of Merd in sorrow. The part of me that built the ultimate weapon. Look up, what is that? Uh, could it be? Is that my fluent? Oh, wait! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Floet, you've returned, Floet. Oh. <laughs> it's been three thousand years. <laughs> you finally returned. Oh. I love happy endings. His Pokemon was waiting all. His Pokemon was waiting all this time. Huh? Waiting for him to return to the man he was. The man who loved Pokemon with all of his heart. Huh. <sighs> Flow it. I'm so glad you've returned. Let us fight together and love Pokemon. Once again. my friends is the end of the Pokemon X Myofire Egglock. Oh my god, I'm so, I always get a bit emotional with these things because it's such, you put so much effort and you put so much time into an LP and it's all come to an end and you've been very successful. I feel like this was a very successful LP so stay tuned for a vlog coming out discussing what's going to happen with the next LP and with my channel and everything else. But um, man, thank you very much for watching honestly from the bottom of my heart. To you guys, thank you very much for sticking around and watching this LP. If you guys enjoyed this episode, this final episode, and it met the hype that you thought it was going to be, because it definitely met it for me, go ahead and leave a like down below, because as always, your support is appreciated. Without a doubt, it is always appreciated. So, until the next time I see you guys, have a great day, have a great night. Whoever's watching this, whoever you're watching this, this is CJ Sassy 4 over and out. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play.